In this question, we must select the compound that was used to generate the given mass spectrum. Typically, the first thing that you want to look at for any mass spec is the signal that is located on the very far right of the diagram. This signal right here is known as the molecular ion, and the molecular ion will give you the molecular mass of your unknown molecule. So in this case, the molecular mass is equal to 100. So one strategy would be to determine the molecular mass of each compound, and if it doesn't equal 100, we can rule it out. So for example, let's consider hexane. We all know that hexane is a six carbon alkane. We might also remember that for any alkane, the general formula is CnH2n plus two. So we can take the number of carbons, which is six, and then also plug that in for the n value for the number of hydrogens. And when we simplify this, we can see that the formula becomes C6H14. Now let's add up the mass of all those atoms. So we take the six carbons and multiply it by 12 atomic mass units for each carbon, and then add the 14 hydrogens multiplied by one atomic mass unit for each hydrogen, and we get a mass of 86 atomic mass units. This, of course, does not equal 100, and therefore hexane can be ruled out. We can next perhaps take a look at 2-methyl heptane. Let's clear out the workspace here a little bit. And we've got to figure out how many carbons are in 2-methyl heptane. We could draw it out. Perhaps heptane has 7 carbons, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then at carbon 2, we have an extra methyl group. So in fact, there are 8 carbons. So the formula would become C8H2 times 8 plus 2. This is C8 and then H18. Let's tally up the mass. We'll take the 8 carbons and multiply it by 12. Take the 18 hydrogens, multiply that by 1, and when you simplify this, you get a molecular mass of 114 atomic mass units, which of course is not equal to 100. So this can be ruled out as well. Now, we can perform similar exercises for heptane and 2,4-dimethylpentane, and if we were to do so, we would see that each of their masses is 100 atomic mass units. You can verify that for yourself. And so we have to find another way of distinguishing between those two choices. Let's draw each molecule out. So here's heptane. It's got seven carbons, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's heptane. And then 2,4-dimethylpentane. So we'll do two, three, four, five. There's five carbons. And then at carbons two and four, we have those two methyl groups. Now, it turns out that the telltale signal that will help us distinguish between these two molecules is going to be right here at 71, but let's take a look at why. So what we'll do is we'll fragment each molecule at a specific location, and we'll see if we can generate a fragment whose mass is 71 atomic mass units. So for example, consider the bond that we can color in red right here. What happens is when a bond fragments in the mass spectrum machine, if you want to call it that, Basically what happens is that one of the carbons will end up with a positive charge and the other carbon will end up as a radical. And so what you want to do is just split that bond right there. It's a little bit of trial and error. And what we're going to do is understand that only the positively charged fragment will be detected by the mass spectrum. The other radical neutral fragment will not be detected. So next what we'll do is try to figure out the mass of this. Now we all know that there were three hydrogens at this carbon, two hydrogens right here, two there, two there, and then there were also two hydrogens here. Now, we'll add up the masses, so let's count this carefully. We have one, two, three, four, five carbons, so five multiplied by 12 for the carbons, and then add up the number of hydrogens, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So 60 plus 11, of course, is 71. So there is a way to fragment heptane to generate a fragment whose mass is 71 atomic mass units. So this is looking very good for heptane as being the correct answer. But let's consider 2,4-dimethylpentane. And what we want to do is see if we can fragment this molecule in a way that would also generate a mass of 71 atomic mass units. But it's going to turn out that that won't be possible. We can try a couple of fragments just to make sure. So for example, this bond right here, let's go ahead and fragment it. We'll break it, and we can put the positive charge on either carbon to see if it's going to work for us, and we probably want to put it at this carbon because we're trying to generate a mass of 71, so we want to make a larger fragment, not really a smaller one. 
which means that this carbon would get just the lone electron. Then what we do is put in the hydrogens. So one, two, three, there was one right there. Should be three there, and then there should be two there. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four carbons. So four times 12. And then we're going to add the hydrogens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, if we add this up, we get 57. Now, of course, that does appear on the mass spec, but it's not the 71 that we're looking for. So this is not going to be the correct way to fragment this molecule. So, so far, we're not able to fragment this molecule in a way that generates an atomic mass of 71 units, or a molecular mass, I should say. So we can try again. Whoops. So not at that bond right there. Maybe we would want to cleave this bond. We can give it a try. So we'll cut that bond. Now be careful here. This little carbon, and then there's a carbon here. This carbon right here is going to basically, once you break the bond, it's going to sort of break off onto its own. And again, we'll put the positive charge on the heavier fragment just because we're trying to generate that 71 molecular mass. This one would become a radical. It's not detected anyways. So let's take a look at this fragment. We'll count up the carbons. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So 6 times 12. Now, wait a minute. Even if we add the number of hydrogens, we can see this is already wrong because 6 times 12 is 72. So this is going to be much greater than 71. It's not going to work. We're not going to be able to generate that mass of 71. And so you can try a little more on your own if you'd like to, but there is just no way to kind of break a bond on the 2,4-dimethyl pentane in order to generate a mass of 71. So it is not looking good for 2,4-dimethyl pentane. We can eliminate it with great confidence, and therefore the correct answer to this question will be heptane.